Are you thinking of selling or buying a home? Find out what your house is worth today. Get a free comparable evaluation. We sell houses, co-ops, condos, mixed-use and commercial buildings. We also do commercial and apartment rentals. Houses are bought in any condition, any location. We have homes available in Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, Manhattan and the Bronx. Call Century 21 Achievers Realty at 347-713-2562. That's 347-713-2562 for all your real estate business. Hey, what's up, New York? I'm H. Diggy. Welcome to this, another Lively Up Your Sale episode of What's Up, New York. This week, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places. I'm not the party dude anymore, but I like to hang out. And this is one of the places I like to do it at. This is the Loft Bookstore and Cafe. Come on inside, man. You're going to love it. Finally, we are inside among all these books, a wealth of knowledge. Now, speaking of wealth, this place is far more than the sign outside suggests. What this is, it's a huge economic resource for aspiring millionaires, you know, like myself. Uh, we're talking about with books like Good Debt, Bad Debt, The One Mil Millionaire. Hey, who moved my cheese? Come on, man. You can't lose. And uh, a book over here by Tony Brown, Empowering uh, the People. So stay focused, people, because this week we have an action-packed show on tap for you. We're going to be bringing you news, views, and interviews from our recent trip to Sunfest 2010 in Jamaica, featuring artists like Bounty Killer and the always intriguing Spice. So stay tuned, because we're going to be bringing you that and a lot more right after these brief commercial words and of course our local and international news book 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 let me pop a seat grab a seat are you thinking of selling or buying a home find out what your house is worth today get a free comparable evaluation we sell houses co-ops condos mixed use and commercial buildings we also do commercial and apartment rental houses are bought in any condition any location we have homes available in brooklyn Queens, Long Island, Manhattan, and the Bronx. Call Century 21 Achievers Realty at 347-713-2562. That's 347-713-2562 for all your real estate business. Hey, what's up, New York? Welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome. Uh, today we're out and about in the hood. You know, I don't uh, party too much anymore. But when I do come out, I like to be doing something to build my mind, body, or spirit. And this is one of my favorite places to come and do it. All right, um, introduce yourself to the world, sis. Hi, I'm Claudine, owner and operator of the Loft Bookstore Cafe located at 350 Tompkins Avenue in the Bedside area. All right, now this is a very unique entity in itself to be located where it is. Um, tell us about your hours of operation and some of the services you provide. Now, I've been to the backyard and I've been down stairs and tell you I'm in love with the place you know um, but tell other people out there who don't know about it uh, we're more than just a bookstore you know um, it's unique in a way that um, we're internet cafe and um, we offer free Wi-Fi and um, we also have a VIP lounge all right now speaking of the VIP room people I've been down there TV, these uh, 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 lazy, what is it? Shea lounges. Yes, leather Shea lounges. People, trust me, this is definitely something to get excited about. Now, speaking of excitement, uh, we were recently in Jamaica for Sunfest 2010, and we buck up on Mr. Excitement himself. We're talking about Bounty to the Killer, and we had a chance to talk to Bounty. Do you know about Bounty? Of course, I'm Jamaican. Oh, all right, give me a song, Bounty Sang. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nope, we never sang that. But anyway, people, uh, you can check out our interview with Lydia Patel featuring Bounty Killer. And he's going to be talking to us about the crime situation in Jamaica. So without further ado, let's go to Sunfest 2010 in Jamaica. Bounty Killer with the red. Right. Anyway, <laughs> be back in a minute. So Bounty Killer Live and Direct here for Sumfest 2010. Why don't you say a big what's up to everybody in the New York New area? York. What's up? You know it's Warlord Sumfest 2010. I'm here again. Kaboom! Brooklyn, Queens and Bronx. Give thanks. He's Warlord. Cross. Anybody in particular you want to say a big up to? Well, I got a big up Junior Ryder. 
And I gotta big up the whole New Lads family, the whole 90s family, the whole Flatbush family, and I gotta big up my sisters, Patsy, Sophie, Windy, Tammy. I gotta big up the whole New York City. What's up, New York? Big up Kareem! All of the high grade are you, Kareem? Yo, Jolly say that. <laughs> and tell everybody officially that it is safe to come to Jamaica. All the yeah, Jamaicans live there. It is safe to come to Jamaica. As you see, we've been camping to get rid of the state of emergency now because things is on a level. We have weakened crime back. Yeah, we give him a bad spine. Crime are walking a limp right now. So everything up on a level. The police are doing the curfew or something. So we urge you, Jamaica is the place right now. Summer rave. Summer is here. That's what's up, New York. What's up, New York? Welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome. Excellent interview with Bounty Killer Man. Rodney Price, the more I hear you speak, the more impressed I become. Anyway, folks, we digress. We are here still inside the Loft Cafe and Bookstore. I'm located at 350 Tompkins Avenue in Brooklyn with one of its uh, patrons. Introduce yourself, brother. Yeah, how are you? I'm Tony. I live in the area. Um Basically, I like to come here a lot because it's a nice, quiet place. Plus, I get to read a lot of the books here, and, and they have an astronomical selection on wealth development, on relationships, and you know, parenting and everything of that nature. So, I basically like to come here and absorb some of this knowledge because I'm basically putting that myth to sleep that a black man don't read. Now, uh, if I said uh, life's too uh, uh, short to be stupid, what does that mean to you? Well, life is too hard to be stupid. And to me, that would mean that the more that I know, the easier life gets. So in order for me to make life as easy as possible, I would absorb a lot of knowledge and that would make life good for me. It would make it easier. It would give me better choices, better options. Right. So basically, it's a good thing to study so that one can have the best life possible. You know, because life is too hard to be stupid. You're right. Okay. And it's harder when you're stupid. There you go. All right. Now, um, we're going to try to dispel the myth that black people don't read. So we took our cameras to the streets to talk to John Q. Public just to see, you know, what they've been doing. You know, have they been reading books or studying at all? So hopefully we're wrong. A um, couple of questions. Let's talk about uh, 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 the statement that uh, schools don't prepare you uh, to be employers, but employees. Well, that's actually correct. Well, schools, what they do is put you into their ideology, and that's to go to school, to get a good education, to get a good job. But what about going to school to get a good education so you can create the wealth that you would love to have so that you can enjoy life the way you want to enjoy life? In other words, rather than you go get the good job, you basically want to own the company so that you can hire people to work for you and you can enjoy the fruits of their labor. All right. Lots of wise words from Tony, man. Uh, all right, folks, now it's time to take you to our small chat with the artist known as Spice. The reason I say small, because she real short, people. <laughs> Check this out. Back in a bit. Scan them. S-P-I-C-E. Say my name. That's me. I don't know. It's a girl, Spice. Representing for What's Up New York. I don't know, so keep it locked. You don't know. Some Fest 2010 with a backstage. All access granted. They can't get no better than that. And What's Up New York bringing it to you right now. I just recently um, opened my Spicy Couture, and that's a boutique of mine in Mall Plaza, and I recently also opened Spicy Salon, branching off in the entrepreneur kind of thing. So my fiance and I also opened Eight Ball Lounge in Portmore, so you know a whole heap of things are going for Spice. And I just recently released a new single out called Dream Screechy. You can check out it I want up on YouTube, and it's mad. Everybody loving it. I just shot the video for Back Broad, so that is all. Very fashionable video, Spicy Couture and everything. So. Spice is just doing a lot of things in the pipeline right now. Everything's going on. Well, for me, I like to make my money make money for me. It's very important because, you know, in my field, you know, business is not always up. Music comes and it goes and you don't know. You have to kind of represent and know to invest and to make your thing make money for you. So that's just what I'm doing. Big up Lady Sa, my sister, my son, God's mother. Big up, of course, my fiance, Nicholas Lal. Two Nicholas in my life, so I want to big them up, of course. Big up all of my fans. Big up all of my AC. I you don't know, word goes out. What's up, DV? New York, keep it locked. Man, that was a great interview with Spice, man. Short and spicy the way we like it. That's right. Anyway, folks, it's time to go. I had a great time hanging out with you, Tony. Um, now, do you have uh, any list of recommendations, like books to read for people uh, that, who want to come here or, you know, can, can yeah, you? Yeah, I 